So I've downloaded this uh, zip file. So we're open with archive. Put that to one side, I always keep it like that. Open it up. Then you got test disk and photo rec. So first of all I'm gonna try and recover a missing partition with test disk. See if that works. If it don't work, I'll recover the photos. If it does work, I will delete and recover the photos anyway. But anyway, just click onto it, copy, and just put sudo because it needs to be in sudo. You need to be in root or hold elevated permissions, whatever you call it. Put password in. And it's going to open it. So I've got this one in here now. It's Keoxia. It's got notes on it. It's un it's uh, unformatted, and it has got a partition on there, but it's been deleted. So I'll just try to see if I can copy. The uh, USB first, so I'll try that. Just that, just make a good copy of it, protection. I think this is disk four I'm working with. Yep. So I shall. And then put the output file as. We're going to right click on a folder here, copy it, paste it. And I've got the address for the desktop then. Then I'll just uh, delete all that. I'll just call it test image dot dd. Then I'll put the block size equals 1M. I'm just going to go here and put R on this distance to speed it up. That gives it direct access and it ain't, it speeds up the process by a lot. I'm going to put progress equals status and Conv equals sparse. That's going to ignore zeros. And I've zeroed this so it should make it a lot quicker. Let's try that, see if it works. So, what have I done wrong? Get rid of that conv. It could be that actually. Status equals progress and conv equals sparse. So now it's going. It's doing it at 37 megabytes per second, which is fairly fast for this. And as you can see, we've got a test image there. So it's just taking a copy of the USB just to protect it. So you know all your data is safe and saved. Okay, I'll leave that till it's done. Okay, that image is done now. 
15 gigabyte. So at least I ain't got to worry about that. It's all there, save all your information. So let's go into create. So it's discard. That's our discard. So that could be the thing we just made. I'm not sure about that. I'll just. Uh, Anyway, we'll just go in this one. The best to go with the selection it goes with here. It's selected it and then analyze. Quick search. It's that one. So we're gonna click on it, enter, and then right to disk. We'll have to reboot for the changes to take effect. So I'll stop recording, reboot it. Sometimes you do have to reboot, sometimes you don't. But So there you go. There is the untitled USB with the partition rescued. You can open it up and you can access your files again. So that's test disk. It's just rewrote that partition to that USB. So it's back to normal now. Because you use it to normal or you can rescue it. So, just going to pretend we didn't, we couldn't rescue that partition with test disk and just attempt to recover the files. So, I'll open up a new terminal. So, I'll just copy the path to photo rec. That's I'll just sudo it first. Should open up, find the dish you want to work on. There's the 15 gigabyte, it's showing two for some reason. So we've got our disk two. Let me just empty that. I'll do it on the hard disk. Just going to quit that and restart. I'm just going to do it on the disk, not the R disk. So just go on what it auto selects. And there you go. It's got a lot of stuff, I think. Nowadays, the way it wants you to recover it too. So I'm just going to port desktop. So press C. So it's going through and passing, and there's the file where it's going to drop them off. Well, recover them to. So it's already found a load of stuff. Look, it's found everything anyway. So as you can see, brilliant, really cool bit of kit. So it's twenty texts. 14 JPEG, 3 PDFs, and it shouldn't have had any of them on really. It should have had half of them, so, but sometimes it doubles them up. So it's doubled them two or doubled them two up. So. Well, as you can see, brilliant tool. I'm just going to stop it now. I think that's proved how good it is.